I've just bought this Azure F3 and I have spent a few days prepping it so it becomes what I want out of it. Um, this uh, one came actually with an ISO 30 head, which is pretty nice as I have a shitload of ISO 30 tooling. And years ago when I bought the lathe, I got 48 of those ISO 30 shocks and they were fitted with a very special bayonet lug at the end. And the previous owner, uh, Hasselblad, uh, the camera factory, they had fitted this. Uh, never seen anything like it, but I converted my Shovelin 13 and my CNC, so they both take this system. And then I made loads of other um, uh, bayonets to fit other shocks. So I bought, uh, I, I have well over 100 shocks that I can uh, use in my machinery. <coughs> So, I made a special drawbar. Instead of having a drawbar with, with an M12 thread, we now have just a pin with a four millimeter uh, cross pin, and those fits together. So that, that works very simple, very nicely. Um, the nut is a 22 millimeter nut. Um, I made it, and that is simply because I want everything to be the same size. Uh, uh, the Sierra machine are biased out of the 22 millimeter nuts, so there is no reason to that I must have 19 and 24 and whatsoever. I, I, I make uh, new nuts uh, when, I, when I need it for the machine. So here is how it works. Just put it up here. I don't even change the gear on the machine. That's it. It's that simple. Very convenient. I also made the same thing. I made a new drawbar for for uh, the collets for uh, the dividing head. The dividing head will be the most used in this machine. I always want one machine always fitted with, with, with the dividing head. I use it a lot. So here is the new drawbar I made. Uh, same thing there, 22 millimeter at the end. So that becomes very convenient and easy. It took me a couple of days, uh, but it's well worth uh, the work. Thank you very much.